I want to talk about my favorite weapon in Valorant. It is something that you get for free and it is one of the most fun guns to use in my opinion. Uh, one, because you don't have to invest any money and two, because the absolute shitstorm of a chat that happens when you, with no armor, just takes like one taps a guy that has full bot, a phantom, and he has full armor, all his utility, and you just peek around the corner with a goddamn classic pistol and just headshot him. It is crazy how good this gun is, and it's crazy how underrated this gun is. So, I want to talk about the classic, how you can use it, abuse it, and use it to rank up. A beautiful, lovely game, as always. My name is Joe. Like on the video, helps greatly out against YouTube's algorithm, and just content creators swapping uh, from Overwatch to Valorant, right? Views goes down because, again, Obviously, people that are subscribed for Overwatch content don't watch the Valorant content, and then YouTube thinks everyone is disinterested in this. So, liking, commenting, dropping your thoughts on the classic, your tips, your tricks, are you going to pick it up, do you like this gun, uh, are you one of those guys that thought this gun was overrated, or have you been abusing this for a while, all that stuff, Valorant related, down in the comment section. What weapon do you want me to take a look at next? Tell me, and I'll make a video on it. And of course, if you like this type of content, subscribing is the best way to keep it updated. My Twitter and Twitch link down in the description together with our awesome Discord community. If you want to drop me a follow for live streams, you want to jo jump into my Twitter to see all the memes that goes on, or just join the community, hey, thank you, glad to have you. Now, let's just jump into it. The Classic is underrated, and mainly the appeal of the Classic is one, it's free. So that's great. No eco put into it. I mean, you can buy armor or, or again, on rounds where you need to buy utility and you don't really have cash or you just don't have cash to buy anything. Having this, knowing how to use this gun is really good. On top of that, it's always your backup. Like you, you rarely should buy pistols. And why I started making this video specifically is I was coaching someone. I was private coaching uh, a platinum player and, and a platinum player was buying uh, like would, would buy a rifle and then he would also like if he had cash for it He would buy like a sheriff or a ghost or or something even time or sometimes a frenzy depending Maybe sometimes if you were playing with an op he would buy like a frenzy and it's it's such a waste of money when you already have Something as as OP as the classic on your hand The classic the only stats you really need to care about the stats are always on the screen But the only stat you really need to care about is the 30 meters or the highest potential headshot damage is 78 meaning if they have full armor you will one shot them if you get two headshots in now of course with primary fire and the fire rate of this gun that's not gonna work but as we all know the right click is what we're really going for and why the right click is so broken is quite simple the spray is super tight like it is ridiculously how tight the spray is um, if you're moving or not moving if you're jumping or not jumping doesn't really matter and you want to abuse those two things you want to abuse the fact that you have the movement speed of a pistol mean you can peek really fast with it, the pistol out you can jump around the corner uh, and you can just quickly like pop out and hit two headshots because the spread is so tight uh, and easily take somebody out even with full armor uh, you don't want to always use this as a camping gun uh, and two you want to abuse the mid-air spread or the lack of mid-air spread to be more uh, precise Jumping with this is b barely uh, affecting its spread. Using jet updrafts and dashes barely affects the spread. Using ray satchels b barely affects, affects the spread. I mean, you can jump around, you can engage with a, a jet or a race, you can quickly get in there or close any future agents with mobility, or you can bunny jump with it. Actually, you can bunny jump with it out and just jump around the corner or just run and jump around it. And the speed that you come in, it gives you such an aggressive peak on them that actually, if it's a tight angle, I a lot of time prefer having my classic out and doing the jump than I would sometimes do um, if I had uh, something like a vandal. So closing gaps, like jumping over covers where it's like a close tight angle and he's holding it, a lot of time having that classic out is actually better because for example, with a jet, you can dash over whatever cover uh, or with a race, you can jump around the corner or jump over the, co the cover that's hiding behind like a box and you can just mid air, just headshot him and there's nothing the guy can do to stop you compared to like having to take that aim duel where, where he might kill you with a headshot off his own rifle or he might at least tie you up for some damage. That's why this classic is so fucking good. Um, and 
of all time, it is the classic or the ghost. A lot of people thought to playing for. Uh, the Frenzy is also really good, and some people like it. But the majority of the community, normally on first bias, like to play either a ghost or a classic. And it's quite simple what you want to do. So, for example, here holding a, a, the door, the double doors uh, on garage, holding that with a ghost versus a classic, you just get destroyed with the ghost, and there's no arguing with it. However, if it's longer ranges. The classic sucks ass, you can't kill anyone, while the ghost is actually significantly better. So, again, if you're playing, if, you, if, you're just, if your whole plan is to take long duels, take long fights, you can buy a ghost on first round. But when it comes to other buy rounds, like for example, you lose pistol, you lose pistol round, you don't have any money, they're gonna play with SMGs. The fact that they can buy, <laughs> imagine this, imagine that you're on the enemy team, you buy, you won the pistol round, you bought uh, armor, you bought a Spectre, you have your, some, you have your utility, uh, let's say that you're playing Sage, for example, right? so you have some of your utility, you have a wall and stuff like that, you're gonna push doors, and a guy camps with a classic there and just headshots you, and you just die. And it's like he has a pocket shotgun, he invested no money in that, and it's far more, like, because of how good the classic is, there's no fucking reason to ever buy a shorty, because of how good the classic is. It's just so overpowered. And you get... And, you know, you get a decent amount of rounds through that mag. You get four bursts with your right-click through that magazine before it goes out. That's potential four kills. Uh, of course, you'd like to avoid spamming with it uh, if possible because the spread goes wider and wider the faster you shoot with it. So if you can isolate opponents, right? This isn't a gun that you take on multiple opponents with. Uh, you want to kind of take out one after another. But using the movement of this, using the right-click, abusing that holding tight, aggressive angle using the fact that you have movement speed so you can quickly peek somebody i love using this with arena where you can just peek around the corner hedge on somebody and just like dismiss back out or a jet where you can do the same you can quickly peek around the corner get the kill and then just dash behind your own cover uh, and it's so devastating and it's so tilting for the opposing side to lose this kind of gun uh, i think this gun is greatly underrated uh, on like on maps where I have a vandal or a phantom, if I kill somebody with a sheriff, I a lot of time don't pick up the sheriff anymore. Because why would I? If I get pushed close, I already have a vandal. If I get pushed close, I'm not gonna whip out a sheriff as my sidearm. I'd, I'd rather want to have a pocket shotgun that I can quickly like jump around the corner to take somebody out really fast. That I can use if I get pushed to kind of just hold an angle and quickly hedge on somebody with my shotgun. And, and if it comes to that, that I need to fight like a decent distance, like a medium range where my right click doesn't work, the classic can do a job. Like, it's not ideal, it's not the best gun, but it can do its job to finish somebody off or to trade with. So, I highly, highly recommend you, that you check out the classic, that you share this video around so more people can start using this. Uh, the amount of times that I have won eco rounds because of that, or where they buy uh, on us because they won the first round and we destroyed them with classics, is ridiculous. Um... So, liking, commenting, sharing, if you like this type of content, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, I hope that you guys have a lovely day. Um, peace, do take care of the positive. My name has been Journal. Take care of others, but remember to take care of yourself. As always, keep the enemy in your crosshair.